Hello and welcome everyone to this tutorial. Today we will have a look at ChatGPT and its coding capabilities. First, let's have a look at general programming question answering. So right here, I asked what is Python good for? And we got a really good answer to our question. And this really could save you a lot of time because if you wanted to find out this by yourself, you would have to do a lot of Googling, visiting different sites, reading through a lot of stuff. So this is really a precise and compact answer to my question. So this is really good for just overall general programming questions. So right here, my next, next question was, what programming language should I learn if I want to create 3D games? What game engines are there? And this is, this is pretty good, so it answers with C++ and C Sharp, um, which is a really good answer, and also Python. You can create games with Python, um, but yeah, it's less popular for game development compared to C++ and C Sharp. So that's a really good answer. And yeah, here it also listed probably the biggest um, game engines that are currently on the market. So yeah, it's really good for general not too specific programming questions. Next, let's have a look at automation. So ChatGPT can really good create different kinds of Python scripts to automate all kinds of different tasks. So right here, this is actually a problem I was facing in my everyday work. So I had a lot of TXT files and I wanted to merge all txt files from one directory into a single txt file. So I just went to ChatGPT and asked it if it could generate um, a small script for me. So right here we have this combine txt files function and it shows us even how we could use this. And this is just super helpful if you want to automate stuff and yeah, work less. Then another example here is create a Python script that checks the current price of Bitcoin to US dollar. Um, I actually told here with any API key, um, so it uses this Nomix API, which is, I guess, um, it's a crypto index. And it's using this API to get the current price of Bitcoin. Okay, so the next thing we will look at is creating websites. So ChatGPT can really create HTML, CSS and JavaScript really good. Um, so here I asked it to create a simple website about Labrador, so dogs, um, with a navigation, a hero, with an image, and a, an about section, and a contact form. Um, so here it started generating the HTML with inline style. Um, and right here, this is very interesting, the generation stopped, I guess because it's reached the output size limit. But then I just told it again to write the body of the website because the body starts here and it got cut off here. So it just continued to write out the code. And then I basically took the whole code and pasted it into a new replit. So this is basically the result of this generation right here. The image is not really a Labrador dog, but that's close enough. And I think overall this is a really good result for with for yeah, not doing any changes to the current generation. So we have our nav bar, we have our hero with an image. Um, these things are even, even clickable, so we have our small about section. And then this small contact us component, which looks really good. Next, let's talk about different kinds of generic code, for example, algorithms. Right here, I have a really simple sorting algorithm. It's called bubble sort. Um, probably most programmers are familiar with it. So first, I ask it to actually generate a bubble sort function. It did it without a problem, all looking good. But then I ask it to add documentation and inline comment about what is done on each line. And you can see right here that this has no comments uh, whatsoever. 
And here we have really nice documentation with what the function does, parameters and what the function returns. So this is really great. And we have our comments um, added about what is done on each line. So this is great if you have general generic code and want to document this. And then I asked it to show me how this function can be used and it gave me a really great example of an unsorted array. Then we sort our array with this function and then we print out our sorted array. So this is really nice. Last but not least, let's talk about simplifying or rewriting code. So right here, I've pasted this Fizzbus implementation that I found on the web. And this is a clever solution, but it's not really readable. So I pasted in the whole code, added this small spacer section right here, and then told it to simplify this clever Fizzbus solution. And so it rewrote me the entire thing um, just yeah, a little bit more readable for the average person. So now you know how you can use ChatGPT for your everyday programming tasks. I hope you learned something and I will see you next time. Bye.